I finally got around to seeing Cloverfield, and so let's not waste any time and just get right into it. Cloverfield follows five New Yorkers from the perspective of handheld video cameras. The movie is exactly the length of a DV tape, and there is a subplot that is establishing by showing bits and pieces of video previously recorded on the tape that is being recorded over. The movie starts as a monster of unknown origin destroys a building, and, and as they go to investigate parts of the building and the head of the Statue of Liberty come raining down upon them, the movie follows their adventure trying to escape and save a friend, a love interest of one of the main characters. I've personally never seen a film quite like this movie. Um, some might call it a Godzilla ripoff, or people also call it like a Godzilla versus Blair Witch Project. And I was even one of them at one point, but I can say right now that is definitely not the case. This is a film that will keep you on the edge of your seat for a few different reasons, but we'll get into that more into those in a few minutes. Because I want to talk about my initial impressions of this film when I first saw the trailer. I remember sitting in the theater, I don't remember what movie I was seeing, but I saw the trailer for this film, and it both grabbed my attention and pissed me off all at the same time. Because to me... At the time, it, like I said earlier, it did look like a Godzilla knockoff. But it said it was produced by J.J. J. Abrams. And I like that fact. Because I've been a fan of his ever since I saw Alias for the first time. But then came the scam that pissed me off. And after you watch the trailer, they don't tell you the name of the fucking film. Some people say that it was to intrigue audi audiences. I think they just couldn't decide on a title for the film, so didn't preview with one. But I kept close tabs on the film as close as I could, and knew it was going to be an entertaining film nonetheless. And now we're back where we began. The most unique aspect of the film is the film's look, the fact that it's from the perspective of a guy holding a camcorder amongst all this chaos. And this is where the biggest problem people have with the film is, because it has a tendency to give people motion sickness. Hence the edge of your seat comment earlier, because I know a few people who really wanted to see this whole film, but had to leave the theater. It, it's totally under, understandable, because it had this amateurish look to it, and it literally didn't sit well f with some people. One guy personally I knew how to leave because he... And just barely made it outside before he lost everything. There has been some confusion whether or not this film was shot on a consumer camcorder or not. I know that the fam the film itself used the Panasonic AG, the HVX 200, which runs between five and six thousand dollars, and it also used the Sony CineAlt F23, which is about an eighty thousand dollar camera. The question is, what camera did they use on which scenes? I'm assuming the Sony was used for the majority of the film and the Panasonic was for the party sequence, but I guess we'll all just have to wait for the DVD and hope the special feature uh, sheds some light on it all. The big talk about the film, however, has to be the monster. What does it look like and everything. I suggest that you just see the film for yourself because I don't even know how to describe the fucking thing. All I can say is it's crazy looking for the few times that you actually get a good look at the thing. Overall, I didn't really have any huge complaints with the movie, other than some of the acting in certain scenes, and as well as some of the dialogue. It just seemed really fake to me at certain points of the film, but other than that, it was a top-notch movie, and I uh, recommend it to anybody. With that said, I'm going to wrap this thing up. Like I said, I recommend the film, but seriously, not to those who get queasy easy, because it will not be a very pleasant viewing experience for you. I give the film four and a half skulls for the interesting look and the way that they keep the creature a semi-mystery throughout the entire film. I would like to hear your, your all's opinion on the film if you've seen it and hope you all tune in next time.